Alara, who is five today. Hope you're having a brilliant birthday, Alara. And this card comes with lots of love on your special day from Mummy, Coral and Rob. Happy birthday to you. Now, if you want to send a birthday card in to us here at CBeebies, do so nice and early. The address is CBeebies, P.O. Box 1234, Salford M 50 dn And if it is your big day today, happy birthday. Lovely to see you. I've just been getting ready for today's recipe. It's going to be so tasty today and I can't wait. Come in. Hello, Katie. Hi, Katie. Hello, Jodie. Hey, Archie. Hello, hey, Alfie. Katie. Hello, Sophie. Hello, Brooke. Now, do you want to know what delicious recipe we're going to cook today? Yes. 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 Well, today's scrumptious recipe is going to be... Lasagna. Lasagna, and I like to call it Katie's lasagna. Now, doesn't that look so tasty? Yes. <laughs> now, we're just about ready to make a start, but there's something that we need to do first. What do you think it is? Wash our hands. That's right, we need to wash our hands and put our aprons on. Roll up your sleeves, give your hands a wash with slippy dippy soap, splish splash splosh. Cooking is fun, but it can be mucky. So put your apron on to stop your clothes getting yucky. Have you done your hands? Yes. Washed and dried. Yes. Sleeves rolled up. Yes. Apron tied. Yes. Let's take a look in the cookery book. What can you do? I, I can, can cook. cook. Let's get cooking. Yes! <laughs> now let's get started. Now to make your very own Katie's lasagna, you're going to need a dish that can go in the oven like this has a lid too. Now I've already oiled yours for you so the first thing we need to do is put in some tinned chopped tomatoes. Yes. So you're going to need some of these but not all of them so take a little spoonful like this and then pop them into your bowl. Remember you need some but not all. Can everyone say that? Ready? Some, some but not all. That's it. Can you spread it all around the bottom guys? I'm That's it. Holes. That's all right. Spread it all around. It's like a little red sea at the bottom of the tub. Got it. Everyone done? Yes. Have you made it nice and flat yes. with your spoon? Okay. Now we're going to need some lasagna. Now this looks a little bit like paper, don't you think? Yes, I'm going to write on it. You're going to write on it. Dum -dum 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 -dum. <laughs> now lasagna is a type of pasta and we're going to use it in our Katie's lasagna. So we're going to tear it up like paper, like this. Can you go... I want it enough. <laughs> That's really good, well done. It looks I a bit like a treasure map, doesn't it? <laughs> now cover the chopped in tomatoes. Yeah. It's a bit like putting them to bed, isn't it, with a blanket? Has everyone covered up their tomatoes? Yeah. And again, we're going to add some, but not all, of the chopped in tomatoes. So take another spoonful and then let it land onto the pasta with a little splat and you can spread it around with your spoon. Oh, oh mine all covered up. And Have you put them up. all to bed? Yep, yeah, I have. Excellent, that is it's really mine, good. Mine. That is really good as well. But remember, we're not going to use all of the chopped in tomatoes. We're only going to use some of them. Now, what do you think we're going to need next in our recipe? Let's put you to the test. Today's ingredient for you to guess. What do you think it's going to be? <laughs> now, let me give you some clues. The missing ingredient is soft, so could it be... You can't eat a woolly scarf. Let's try again. The missing ingredient is soft and it's rather squishy. So, could it be... A ball of 
dazzling clay. You can't put that in a lasagna, but you can do this. Ta-da! Now let's try again. The missing ingredient is soft, it's squishy, and you might find it on a pizza. So could it be... Do you know what it is? This is a special type of cheese called mozzarella cheese, and we're going to need some in our lasagna. Now let's find out some more on our computer. Come on. Mozzarella cheese comes from milk made by an animal called a buffalo that looks a lot like a cow. First of all, all the buffaloes are milked. The milk is then put in a big machine where it is heated up until the hard bits, called curds, separate from the watery bit, which is called whey. The curds and the whey are then emptied out. The curds are kneaded and stretched in a large machine until they become a big, stringy cheese. The stringy cheese is stretched into a long strand of cheese, which is cut into balls by another machine. These balls of mozzarella are then put into packs with water to keep them fresh for us to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got some lovely mozzarella cheese right here in the kitchen. And we're going to squish and squash it into little pieces with our fork. So, everyone, let's get squishing. Yeah! Squash and squish, squash and squish, press right into the dish. I love squishing and squashing. Do you girls? Yes. I'll tell you what's really good is if you press it to the sides of the bowl like this. You're very good at it. Now keep going until it's all broken into little pieces, a bit like this. And now, guys, we're going to add some of our mozzarella onto our tomatoes. So use your fingers and get nice. really sticky. Nice. Like this, crumble it on. <laughs> we can always wash our hands afterwards. I love getting sticky fingers. Who likes getting sticky fingers? Me. Me. Do you like getting sticky fingers as well? <laughs> Look at my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to use another type of cheese and it's called ricotta and we're going to spoon it on with two spoons. So we scoop and we spread. Okay. And you can spread it around with your spoons as well. It's a nice soft cheese. Brooke, what's the difference between the ricotta cheese and the mozzarella cheese? The mozzarella cheese is hard to squish. And what's the ricotta cheese like? Easy to squish. Easy to squish. It's more soft and squishy, isn't it? Can you pretend to spread at home with your hands like this? Go spread around the bowl. And now we're going to use a herb called basil. And this is going to add lots of really yummy, scrummy flavour to our lasagna. Are we going to tear it? We're going to tear it up like paper. Can you pretend to tear it home as well? And then sprinkle it on like autumn leaves. Look, whee! If you smell the basil leaves, what do they smell like? Spring. That's lovely. Oh, they smell delicious. I love the smell of basil, do you? <laughs> and now it's time to do some more tearing because we're going to tear up some ham. So do the same thing, tear it up with your fingers like this. I like putting ham in sandwiches, do you? <laughs> and now scatter the ham into your dish. So what colours have we got so far then, Sophie? We have got pink, red, white and yellow. And what about the basil leaves? Green. 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 That's my favourite colour. Green's my favourite. And now, everyone, we're going to get our pinchy fingers out. Can you get your pinchy fingers out and go... <laughs> Can you get your pinchy fingers out at home? Ready? <laughs> and now we're going to take a pinch of pepper. So take a little pinch and scatter it on. And now we're going to try and remember 
all of the ingredients that we've used so far. So first of all, we had tomatoes, then we had pasta, then we had mozzarella cheese, and then we had ricotta cheese, and then we had basil leaves, then we put in some ham, and then last of all, we put in a pinch of pepper. To make the lasagna bigger, we need to add all of the ingredients again. Add to the top of the lasagna the smooth ricotta and the crumbly mozzarella. And now we're going to sprinkle some olive oil on top. So dip your little brush in, it's a bit like a paintbrush. And then dribble it all over the top. You can just sprinkle it like me, look. Archie, what does it remind you of? Sun. Of the sunshine? Why, what colour is it? It's goldy yellow and the sun's goldy yellow. That's true, it is goldy yellow like the sun. So, should we sprinkle a bit of sun on top of our lasagna? Yeah. Yes. Sprinkle a bit more. And now we're going to put on the lid because it's time to put our lasagna in the oven for 20 minutes. But remember, with ovens beware because it's hot in there, so get an adult to help you. Come on, everyone, let's put them in the oven. That's it, Sophie. Oh, lovely. Now our lasagna's in the oven cooking, but there's something that we need to do while we're waiting. What do you think it is? Tidy up! That's right, off we go, everyone. It's always good to put away so we can use things another day. So now it's time to remember what we've made today. Scoop some tomatoes, juicy and red. Scoop, 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 then spread, spread, spread. Squish the mozzarella, squish, squash, squish. Squish your mozzarella, squish it in the dish. Tear the lasagna, tear, tear, tear. Cover the tomatoes, there, there, there. Tear up the ham, put it on the dish. Tear up the ham, just like this. Dribble, 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 drip, drip, drip. Dribble olive oil, then pop on the lid. Dribble olive oil, then pop on the lid. <laughs> now our lasagna has cooked and it looks delicious, but it's a little bit too hot to eat at the moment, so we're going to wait for it to cool down. Now we've baked and stirred and torn and washed. We've oiled and mixed, sprinkled and squashed. We can cook, we all know how, so there's one more job we must do now. Let's find the table! Come on, everyone, the lasagna has cooled down and it's ready to eat. Now the waiting is over, enough of this talk. Let's taste what we've cooked with a knife and a fork. Come on, everyone, dig in. This is really good, everyone. Mm. Really tasty. Very scrumptious. Our lasagna is absolutely delicious. We did it! We, we had it! That's it for now. I can't wait to see you all again soon. And just remember that you can cook too. You've eaten all yours, Alfie. Was it really tasty? Delicious. Mmm. What do you think of yours, Jodie? Uh, delicious. What about the cheesy bit? I try to eat it, but it's too big. <laughs> you can mash it up if you want. Well, I like, I like this part. Mmm. <laughs> If you want to make today's recipe, then go to bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies.